Oh, I finally get to go live. Lord Hammers. I finally get to go live. After I make it all the way to Home Depot. Man. I'm going to make sure I ain't going to never put Stephen A. name into the title until I change it. I ain't going to put Stephen A. name into the title after the live over with. Stephen A. Did I get it right? I think I got it right. Stephen A., I'm not putting your name in the title. No, I need, I, I need to tie this again. Hey, Stephen A., I'm not putting your name in the title until after... Until after the live is over. Dang, this thing gonna hell getting too long. It's time for a snip. Yeah, I'm taking this nigga so long. What is taking so long? Too late, KB. It's there now. What's there now? Oh, his name. Man, listen, man. Now I know the route to Douglasville. It don't have good service, but dang, it's not that bad. I can't go live until I get to Home Depot, y'all. I, I I can't even go live until I get to Home Depot. The whole time, I'm like, man, I could do this whole live while I'm on the way. Let's see if I got something. Let me see. I got this thing tied up real nice. Why you hate Stephen A? Why you hate me, Nick? <laughs> Shit, what? I don't hate nobody. All I'm saying is, listen, listen, listen. All I want to know is this. What the hell is Stephen A going to tell a bunch of kids at a basketball camp? Like, I'm going to make this into like, I'm going to make this like into a three or four part series. I think tomorrow I'm going to find a gym or maybe even in my front yard. I got a little basketball goal. I think I'm going to train and show y'all what Stephen A is going to, you know, teach these kids in basketball. Because, I, you know, the average NBA player, they charge like maybe $250, $300 per kid. This motherfucker say $3,000? Stephen A. Smith going to charge $3,000 to teach kids about basketball. What the fuck is he going to tell him? <laughs> I've been around Michael Jordan. Hey, hey, I'm telling you right now, youngin. This is why you need to be out of camp with Stephen A. Don't worry about the makes. Worry about the form. Yeah, see right there? I missed that. I missed it. But I did it with enthusiasm. I did it like Mike. Look at that right there. I did it like Mike. I know. Don't, look, 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 look. don't worry about the misses. Okay? Just take the shot. Because brother taking the shot is 50% of making the shot. Stephen ain't going to be goddamn giving out speeches and shit. He ain't going to be able to do nothing on the basketball. He only scored one motherfucking point. So listen, Stephen A. Camp is $3,000 per child. So I'm going to charge $18,000 per child because I scored six points. <laughs> So, six times three is 18. Six times three is 18. So, I'm charging 18,000 per child. If Stephen A is charging $3,000 and the son bitch ain't even get off the bench. On top of that $18,000 per child, I'm charging $5,000 on top of that per child because I scored six points in the NBA. Okay? <laughs> What's up, Cino? I'm saying if Stephen A. Smith, that's that's $3,000 per point. He averaged one motherfucking point in college. So by my math, he can get $3,000 per kid in college for one fucking point and got his coach fired. So that might be the point six or whatever the hell he got. If he can get $3,000 per point, then fuck it. I want $3,000 per point. 
shit. And six times three is 18. So I'm validating my charge. 18,000 per child. I right, get them to the NBA. <laughs> hey, look, see though, I'm going to make this a fucking five part series. Thank you, Stephen A. I'm going to be demonstrating and lecturing because I know people have questions. I know people like Stephen A. How can you account for one three thousand dollars per child? Boy, Stephen A. Gonna be like, Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Do you not see me on first take talking about the game? Do you not see me on the sideline watching the game? Do you not see me talking with Skip Bayless about the game? I even talked to Jalen Rowe. I talked to Shaq. I shot the ball on the sideline with D-Wade. I know I missed it, but I shot it. Have you seen my resume of talking about the game? Not playing it, not doing it, but I'm a talker. I'm going to teach your son how to talk about it and not be about it. We'll be able to examine every other man. It's the biggest scam in the world. We'll examine every other man. We'll never be able to examine me. I'm going to talk about fighters, but guess what? You'll never see me fight. I'm going to talk about basketball players, but guess what? My resume don't match up to none of them, but I'm going to talk about them like they ain't shit. And I'm going to teach your child how to do that and make more money than the guy, the last guy on the NBA bench. I'm going to make more money than him. And I ain't going to be able to do none of the shit he do. Now, that is a, that is a fucking gift. So Stephen A., Thank you for this alley-oop, Stephen A. We're going to ride this shit out. I'm going to make this into a series. I'm going to go to a basketball court tomorrow, and I'm going to demonstrate what kind of basketball skills you're going to be showing the kids. <laughs> Let's get a one-on-one -on -one game, you and Stephen A. Smith, at that camp. Oh, man, no, I ain't going to that camp because that will make a two million views, two, three million views. We got to do a one-on-one -on -one at my camp. Beat the shit out of Stephen A. Steve, hey, listen. Stephen A, I'm going to be Stephen A tomorrow. I'm going to be coming off pin downs. I'm going to be coming off curls. I ain't got to make no shots because I only got to make one. He only scored one point. So Stephen A's camp is based on shoulda, coulda, woulda ass kids. Stephen A is going to get all of the shoulda, woulda, coulda ass kids. We're going to forego LeBron's camp. We're going to forego Michael Jordan's camp and all of the current NBA players. When Bianca, when Bayama, who? We're going to Stephen A. Smith's basketball camp. We're going to Stephen A. I want to see a dad justify going to Stephen A. Smith basketball camp. Listen, we got Michael Jordan camp, LeBron James camp. Uh, we got all kind of players got camps. Why would we choose Stephen A? I mean, it's simple. Stephen A. Smith has talked to all the greats. I mean, he snitched on Allen. I mean, he talked to Allen Iverson. He snitched on his coach. I mean, he talked to his great legendary coach. I mean, he talked about all the greats. He talked about MJ. He, he's been around it all. He's Kareem. He, he knows everybody, baby. It's showtime. If anybody, if any one of y'all kids go to Stephen A. Smith camp, this is what I want y'all to ask him. I want y'all to go up to Stephen A. and be respectful. Say, hey, Mr. Stephen A. Smith. Um, I want to ask you a question and stick your hand out when you say hey and say Mr. Stephen A. Smith why were you at them colleges in high school boy why were you at them colleges in high school boy you trying to make money for your bosses you ain't trying to teach me how to be a boss and tell them no thank you for your camp I want a refund and then you walk out tell your mama and daddy cry Start crying. Tell your mama and daddy that you want a refund because he don't know how to play. And I'll see your tape on him playing. Now, matter of fact, I, I won't be able to do that because we can't find no tape. We can't even put up a compilation. He's played so less in a fuck in, in a game in action that we can't even find tape to compare him from. This guy is from New York. What kind of New York guy that talk about ball all day like this, like he talked? and can't even play ball. 
New York is like the mecca of basketball. This guy got to have such an inferiority complex that he feel. If you're from New York and you can't play ball and you black, it's almost like you're supposed to go jump off a bridge or something. Allegedly, I think I snapped. That's how some of these people feel. Some of these black males, they feel like New York is known for its grimy, greediness, its ball. When, when it comes to a basketball standpoint, I'm not talking about all around everybody from New York. I'm talking about from a basketball standpoint, New York people got handles. No matter how big or tall, small, they got handles. They got aggression. They got grit. They got everything Stephen A. Smith don't get. Stephen A. Smith must have been. I'm trying to think. How in the hell he from New York? He don't got no characteristics of a New York man. What the fuck? New York. Y'all got to reevaluate Stephen A. If he from New York, he don't have no characteristics of a New York male. New York is grimy. It's gritty. It's tough. It's respectable. It's respected. Don't nobody respect Stephen A. He's a bitch. <laughs> What's up to you? Nobody don't respect Stephen A. I'm just trying to figure out how Stephen A. Smith from New York. And this motherfucker don't get no respect in the basketball world. That's almost like a that's almost like a cardinal sin to be from New York. He was a point guard in New York, a guard in New York, and he not known? Oh, man. Jesus Christ. Well, Stephen A., I'm known in my city. <laughs> I'm known in my state. I'm known. Uh, matter of fact, I'm known everywhere, Stephen A. But Stephen A., please don't teach these kids basketball. Please don't teach these kids participation trophy. He going to have a bunch of these kids out here, intramurals players, fucking uh, YMCA all-stars, in between classes, superstars. That's going to be Stephen A. Smith. Like, come on. He going to have the kids being able to talk about it and not be about it. Stephen A., I'm going to turn this into like a 10-part series. Every day, I'm going to think of a move that you would teach a kid. And I'm going to go out and demonstrate it. Thank you, Stephen A. You gave me a reason to get in the gym. <laughs> hey, thank you, Stephen A. You gave me a reason to get in the gym. We about to expose you not. And Stephen A, please post the pictures of you teaching these kids anything about basketball. Please. I, I want to see. I want to see the footwork. I want to see the jab step. I want to see the jab step go left, step back. I want to see the jab step go left, step back, crossover, pull up. I want to see the jab step, step back behind the back, pull up. I want to see it all, Stephen A. Easy, he can't hoop, laugh out loud. What you mean? That meant three thousand dollars per kid. Shit. I told him I want eighteen thousand. What's six times three? Eighteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he only scored one point. I scored six points. So I gotta get, I gotta get double. I gotta get at least, uh, you the know, the different levels. Thousand dollars a point. Three thousand dollars a point. I mean. So it is what it is. So Stephen A, thank you for setting the standard so high. Um, I didn't know we could have never bins make that type of money. So if they could have never bins make that type of money for teaching basketball, at least they could have a has been teaching basketball. We need to start a league, Stephen A, never been against the has been. <laughs> hey Stephen A, we, me and you need to partner up and start a league. Never been against the has-beens. And I think the, the never-beens would lose every time. It'll be you, Glow Stick, Chris Bouchard. It'll be Wallet Mouth. What's that motherfucking name I call Wallet Mouth? That's an ugly motherfucker. <laughs> What's that motherfucking name I call Wallet Mouth? That big-ass nose and big-ass ugly-ass face. Hey, y'all, who I call Wallet Mouth? What? I can't remember. Rob Parker, that's his real name. Big, ugly motherfucker. God. Damn, that's an ugly motherfucker, boy. Woo, ooh. Man, look at him. That one ugly Sean bitch. That nigga had to be successful in life. <laughs> nigga, if I look like you, I'd have studied in school so hard. I'd have got valedictorian. 
If I was ugly like you, Rob Parker, I would have got valedict fucking Torian because I know I need a lot of money to live life looking like you. So that's what I mean. I got a nigga telling me I'm ugly, I ain't got no lady and all this other shit. By this nigga logic, Hugh Hefner can't keep no lady. This nigga said, you ain't got no wife, you can't keep no lady. By your logic, Hugh Hefner couldn't keep no lady. By your logic, Leonardo DiCaprio can't keep no lady. By your logic, 50 Cent can't keep no lady. Is it that we can't keep one? <laughs> I'm gonna leave y'all with that. I gotta go, man. I'm about to go have me a good time. Uh, Stephen A. Smith, thank you for the alley-oop, boy. We're going to ride this shit out. I appreciate you, Stephen A. Smith. Basketball videos on the way to go. I don't have to be good at it. The nigga only scored one fucking point. So all I got to do is hit one shot. All right? So Stephen A. Smith, examples of basketball camp vlogs coming soon. We're going to be teaching you basketball moves from a Stephen A. Smith standpoint. I need to find somebody to cut these dreads off all the way back to here. So I need a barber, a barber. I need a barber to come through. I want all this front cut off. I'm really gonna get into character. I wanna cut all this shit off to back here. Cut this shit off, take it back. I want my top let back, let back, let back. I like my beat down low. I'm gonna get that shit like T.I. said. I'm gonna pull this shit all the way back and make sure I'm like T.I. T.I. said, not like T.I., but T.I. said. You know what I'm saying? Make sure I get that shit let back. Get the Stephen A haircut. Push that shit way back. I can't get them bubblegum shrimp lips. I don't know why I got little small ass lips, little small ass ears. But I can't get them bubblegum shrimp lips. But we're going to do basketball videos of this bitch ass nigga showing these kids how to play basketball. Okay? All right. We got you. I got to go. I got to go smoke some hookah and have a good time. Um, yeah, I'm feeling good, looking good. I need to get a haircut. I don't want to be no celebrity though, so I don't want to keep my tape line extra sharp, acting like I'm perfect and shit. So I'm gonna let my shit nap up a little more, get bushy, cause I'm just a regular person. I want this shit to nap up. I want this shit to touch my eyebrow. And I still will probably be able to come up to you and say, hey baby, how you doing? Oh, I got my Invicta on today. I usually don't wear no watch, but I usually keep some, some smooth shit. Nothing, nothing too much to make a nigga want to rob me for it. This little bitch ass thing, anybody can afford this. You know, a little Invicta or something like that. But, you know, that's what I do. That's, that's just me. And, you know. <laughs> Ouchie! Hey, listen, y'all try to have a real life. Hey, man, we need to uh, finish this shit real quick. Oh, is, is police out there? Police want to talk to you? Oh. Hey, this is my new song. Hey, y'all want to know my new song? I heard this song while I was driving on the radio. It say, I'm chasing you like a shot of whiskey, burning, going down, burning, going down. I'm chasing you like a shot of whiskey. Uh, hey, that's my new song. I like that country ass shit. I ain't learned the words yet, but it's close. Oh, my Google. No, that ain't nothing. I'm chasing you. Who song that is? Somebody tell me who song that is. Who fucking song that is so I can try to look that song up. He said, burning, going down. Burning, going down. Who sang that song? Yo, Coolio Bum. Some gangster paradise. <laughs> he bubbled over. Rick James haircut. Man, I tied my hair up, man. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Morgan Wa Morgan. Wayland. I gotta look up Morgan Wayland. Wallen or Wayland? I gotta look that up. Wallen, Wayland. Yeah, that nigga said, I'm chasing you like a shot of whiskey burning, going down. Cause them women like that. It be fine as a motherfucker. That shot sometimes be looking fine, but then when you hit that motherfucker, you like, shit. That bit burned, but you wanted it though. You wanted that motherfucker, and you got it. So that's how the women be sometimes, like a shot of whiskey. Burning, going down. <laughs> hey, D said, tell it out. Shout out to Carcino for life, one crack dude. Uh, shout out to damn DPOV. Uh, shout out to, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> that's his son. 
Oh, oh. Shout out to Damn D P O V. Shout out to Damn D Beef. Shout out to Damn D Live News. Uh, shout out to Goddamn uh, Hood Breaking News. Um, KF Low the Mayor. Y'all make sure y'all go sign up. Go look at my community wall. Go get the go sign up for the giveaway. Tell them about the Tuft and Rose Tiki. It's a raffle. It's a five dollar raffle. You get a chance to win a Tuft It Bus Life rug, custom made rugs, Lakers theme, purple and gold, and it's five dollars to enter. Five dollars to enter. The more tickets they buy, the, the better their chances chance. you can get. Okay, and it's five dollars per ticket. Y'all go get a Tuft and Rug ticket. Your chances of win will increase. Okay. Shout out to my boy. Um. Mob only uncut. Shout out to Biz 101, Ticket TV. Um, who else? We got It's Just Gems, Gems I View, uh, Kwame Brown, Greatest Fans. I'm up out of this thing, man. KB signed a. Wait, wait, wait. KB signed a contract today, my nigga. KB, I signed a contract. What contract? You, text it to me. Text me what you got going on. Salute to that shit. Making some money. Hey, y'all don't like the way I tied my hair? Or do I need to untie it? It don't matter what you like, jabroni. I'm gone. This round one. This is me introducing what I got going on with Stephen A. Tomorrow we'll give a demonstration of how the training will look with Stephen A teaching you. Stay tuned. Gone.